Hi friends, uh, as everyone understand how important Pivotable is, right? But do we know how important the data source when we are keeping that as a table, right? Let's understand the difference between the table and the normal data source. Okay, in this particular series, we are going to cover this particular really important topic about the pure table. So stay tuned and watch this video series entirely. All right, uh, welcome to the computer screen. I have created two data set basically with table and without table. So I'll, you know, give you the example how it works basically, right? So we'll start with the without table first. Okay, I'll just remove this row first. This is the data basically. I need to convert this into the pure table. Insert and then go pure table existing worksheet so i'll just add the, the worksheet over here then i'll just add the rep over here so whatever reps right so i just add reps name and accordingly add the units whatever units are there right as per the value set correct if you want to see the whatever headers are there right rep item units whatever right so you can make sure that you know you will get the same value over here so how we can get that you need to, to click on the design tab and then report layout Post that click on the out and form right at one click you can easily see that whatever headers are there right you will get automatically get added over here okay back to the topic correct uh now we have converted this particular data set into the PO table right this particular data set it's a normal data set what text we have in excel we have just converted that into the PO table right now i'm creating the width i'm creating the width table and first i'll convert this into the uh, table right so first i need to convert this into the table what i'll do i'll click on the control t button when i click on the control t it will automatically give me the pop-up right asking for create a table this particular data range you know automatically get selected and then click on the ok button okay now you can see this particular data range converted into the table you can change the design whatever you want to do okay now i'll convert this into the pure table now summarize with pure table again existing worksheet over here and then click on the ok button I'll add the same values. I'll add the same values. Columns. Add this to the rows again and then units. Same to change this again. A design tab. Go into the report layout. Outline form. Okay. Correct. Now uh, the main part. The video series. Why we created this particular video series. I'll show you the main part. Okay. The without table. The without table. Uh, if I add the context over here, suppose I'm creating the video on so and so date, right? And I'm just adding the text over here. Okay, whatever text you need to add, right? Uh, pen, pencil, whatever. 89 and then I'll just drop it down, control D. Okay. When I click on the data tab and click on the refresh button value is not get added right if you can see test it's not get added why because we need to when we are selecting the value into the pure table right when we are converting this particular value set into the data table or maybe pure table we need to ensure that we are changing the location as well okay now click on the analyze click on the change data source the location the location basically so they are referring currently this particular range we need to ensure that they are getting the value from here itself okay now you can see data get added in a similar way if you are adding the value into the table right and just adding the same context whatever I do have right
89 and then whatever it is you know value you can add it just in a demo purpose I'm just showing you okay i've just added this particular value here i don't need to click on the analyze button and change the data source we just need to click on the data and then click on the refresh all that's it you know so i would recommend you know use the table while you are converting any kind of an a uh, pure table you need to ensure that you are creating that as a table so it will help you to you know gauge the values whatever values you are getting added into the sheet to automatically get you know added into the pure table however when you are using the whatever uh, values into the you know normal data sheet you need to ensure that we are you know changing the location and analyze tab so i hope you found this useful guys so please subscribe our channel and give us a thumbs up thanks